Is it on, bro? Uh, no, I don't see it on yet. Let's see here. Is it on, bro? Yeah, it's gone. We good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we good. Yeah, we All right. Good. Shalom. 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 We the brothers from Great Millstone. Before we get started, I want to give our praise, Lord, and honor to Yahweh. We'll get double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akram across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out the truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. I want to say shalom to you, brothers. Uh, we back, you know, through the spirit with another lesson. Another sit down, Lord willing to be edifying. We have a, a guest here from the Cleveland, Ohio camp, the brother Ira Shah. Um, and we just gonna flow through the spirit, man. You know, as you can tell by the title, you know, uh, it's entitled uh, Fear. So like it, faith is the substance of things hoped for, okay? The evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. And the most important element to have in your arsenal right now is faith. Right. Given the times that we're living in, you know, it's easy to um, be, get sidetracked and get caught up in the affairs of this world. But Lord willing, we hold fast, you know, and, and keep the faith. And as we see the prophecies uh, rolling out, it boosts our faith. And uh, Lord willing, you know, we be those men that we uh, be delivered in these times, man, you know, mm -hmm. by our works. Because the scripture tell you that a hey, faith without works is dead. That's right. So we can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if a brother got their Hebrews, you can start from the top. All right. Okay. This, is the, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. the evidence of things not seen. Kind. And if a brother can get that word substance in the blue letter, Baba Kushah, a hey, faith is the substance of things hope, hope for the things uh not seen because we walk by faith and not by sight that's right you know our lord and savior is not a tangible uh entity that we can go to and sit down and talk and touch okay but we still through faith and hope believe that he is man that's right. you know and through him we shall be saved in the troubling times that we're coming into mm -hmm. you got that yeah i got Go it ahead, uh g5287 that's hypostasis in the greek uh, it says a setting or placing under mm -hmm. thing put under substructure foundation yeah so the foundation of our um uh, what we believe in is faith mm -hmm. everything is faith-based man that's right you know we get scoffers and and naysayers coming up to us asking how do we know you know, without having seen these things or having mm -hmm. concrete evidence, hey man, it's through faith. That's right. That the spirit and power of by Shimmy Hao Shai is working through the men uh of Great Millstone, starting while starting with our elders and apostles on down, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the foundation or the basis of our uh our beliefs, man. It's all faith based. That's right. Okay. That's right. And it may seem far fetched that a so called um Negro because the scripture tell you that our Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah and Hebrews, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's far fetched that our Lord and savior is a so-called black man. That's going to come save us through what these people ignorantly call UFOs. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I may, folks, I got a quick mm -hmm. precept on mind. Mm -hmm. This is Romans eight and 24. Exactly. It says, uh, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man see it. Why doeth he yet hope for? You know, and um, in so many words, like it said, man, we can't see, it, but we believe, man. All right, we see the signs, we see the prophecies. Now, right, that's enough to make us believe. You know, this is about faith. This is a faith-based doctrine that the brother was alluding to. All right, it says again, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope, man. You know what I'm saying? So the heavenly Father is trying us, whereas He wants to see if we believe. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's absent in the flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to be doing what he requires of us? You know what I'm saying? When he, when he returns, are we going to be found so doing his his work, man? You know what I'm saying? That's us having faith, okay, until the end. All right? And 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 and, and Lord willing, we do it doing to the end, man. It says again, Romans 8, 24, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then we with patience wait for it. 
And that's what we patiently are waiting for. You know, we're suffering until the salvation of the Lord come, man. All right. And we, we patiently waiting until the Lord, you know, come and do what he said he was going to do, such as this, uh, uh, come deliver us or right, come destroy these devils, man. We got faith that things going to come to pass. We banking on this, all right, in order for our, our salvation, man. We banking on the prophecies to come into fruition in order for our salvation, man. You know, if they don't come, you know what I'm saying, then we ask out, man. We don't. We ain't going to be saved, man. All right, we have no might. Our only trust is in Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And that's where all our strength and our power lies, man. That's where we put our trust and hope in, okay? And that's what the Lord wants us to do in these bitter and the last days is to have faith and trust in him, all right, that he's going to deliver us, that he's going to, you know, uh, come redeem us from these, you know, wicked and evil doors, man. That's right. Don't hurt. Any of y'all brothers got precepts? I got one. Another second. There goes. Go ahead. All right. I, I got some. Go okay. ahead, Al. Um, This is a uh, first... That's this first Thessalonians one and three. It says, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience mm -hmm. of hope in our Lord Yahweh Mashiach in the sight of uh the most high and our father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of the most high, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit and in much assurance. As ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's a lot that those three verses went into in First Thessalonians, uh, the first chapter. But it says, remembering without ceasing your work of faith. So along with our faith, like, of course, we have, there, there has to be a, um, a measure and substance of faith. But then also with that, it comes through works as well. You know what I'm saying? Our, our, faith, our faith was activated through the works of men in which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot with the spirit on men to, uh, you know, uh, uh, activate our faith. And it says labor and love, patience of hope. It's like the brother um, uh, Ara uh, Shah was speaking of, uh, speaking of being patient. But it says also, jumping down to the fifth verse, it says, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also mm -hmm. in power. And they go into the works as well, man. You know what I'm saying? In which, you know, even like a lot of our a lot of our uh, our people, you know, so called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and the uh, Israelite foreigners, you know, they proclaim with their mouth to uh, to know and have a relationship with the Most High, but their actions don't align with uh, someone someone who would actually uh, mm -hmm. be moving in that spirit, in which uh, it, it's going on as well. It says in much assurance, so that means that we're sure, man. You know, what I'm saying our faith, our faith. Uh, you know, is really enough to be the beginning of foundation be, because off that foundation of faith, you build the structure in which your works continues on to uh, uh, rebuild the tabernacle of David, man. Um, and then also with that, just understanding too that our, our works and our labors aren't in vain, that things that we're doing are actually having a, a grave and a, a mass impact, uh, not only in our lives and the lives of those around us, but also actually in the in the world itself, man. That's right. Come on. I got a, um, a rock. I have a precept. Go ahead, bro. All right. You know, um, one of the most significant, if not the most monumental pillar uh, of our faith is prophecy. Mm -hmm. All right. Understanding that the Lord has given us certain historical accounts that have transpired, that have come to pass exactly how he said they were going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. And likewise, certain events that we can see based upon the different patterns and so on and so forth, that surely these things shall come to pass. So the precept is Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9. It says, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. All right. And how do we have that? And where is that validated? Through through prophecy. That's why the scripture says the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. All mm -hmm. right. It says um, in prophecy, you know, it goes into saying before, prophetes, to speak before. All right. And that's that's how we have this understanding. And that's a that's a, a, a pillar of our faith. It says, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure Time. you got Time. it bro yeah yeah that's right 
you know, ultimately the word of the Lord is going to stand. His counsel is ultimately what's going to be the, you know what I'm saying, the ultimatum here. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the last judge, if you will. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have the last say so, man. How about Shimmy All right. Everything that's written is going to come into fruition. He said, um, and then in, in the gospel, he said, now one jot, one tittle, and no last shall pass away, you know, to all be fulfilled, man. You know? Um, you want me to grab this quick pre the brother put uh, on the comment? Yeah, board? hey, Shalom to that brother too. Uh, Living Waters 144. Shalom, brother. Shepherd of Thigh. The brother put on the comment board, Romans 3 and uh, 27. It says, Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law all right and uh i think that was it yeah just uh those two verses you know so yeah man it said a man is justified by faith they said without the deeds of the law man all right we want to be found you know like when your house shall return we want to be found blameless man we want to be found at keeping the faith until the end you know what i'm saying when he returned okay um it says yeah whereas both of them it is excluded yeah because again at the end of the day this is not of us this faith is a gift uh, Yahweh Bashim Shah. We didn't wake ourselves up. You know, Yahweh Bashim Shah woke us up. He receives the glory. Like I said, whereas boasting, it is excluded by what law of works, nay, but by the law of faith. Yeah, man. Because, like I said, uh, 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 this is not a work that any man should boast. You know, we ain't doing this to, to, to flaunt how many videos we putting up or how much, you know what I'm saying, Hebrew we know. This is all, again, the doing the workmanship of Yahweh Bashim Shah. He received all the glory at the end of the day, man. Yeah. All right. Because at the end of the day, everything uh, uh, that will manifest or transpire through us is just to glorify you. How about you? You know, it's nothing that we are doing or nothing that we can do. You know, the Lord is using the lowly, you know, in order, in order to confine the wise. Mm -hmm. So his name can be praised, man. You know, he, he's taking uh, uh, the small, the smallest, you know, and making them great. You right. know, and uh. Guy Carp, you still got the Hebrews 11? Come, come. Come. Any brother got a, a precept before we continue in the Hebrews? I got one. Yeah, I got a precept right quick. I'll go ahead and not, and then you get yours, Irish. All right. Go ahead and uh, This is first Corinthians 9 and 25. And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. And that's one of the things that are unseen, man. You know, having uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, according to, uh, I believe it's uh, for, uh, first, second, as in the second chapter where man of great statue was crowned to be a let. You know, mm -hmm. we, we don't see it yet, but we believe, man. This is the thing that we're seeking for. We're not seeking for uh, the things of this world because the scriptures say the fast in this world has fade up away. So we're seeking for things that in normal, everyday people, they think we're crazy, but this this is the truth according to the Bible. We were we were we were persuaded like it said mentioned in Romans, and uh, therefore we're we're seeking out you know our works to be deemed uh, worthy of salvation. Come come, mm -hmm. go ahead, Irish. This is uh, you speak on. This was just something that you was hinting at a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Second Edges nine and seven, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. Mm -hmm. Whereby you have belief. Yeah, and that's the only way, man. You can't sit back and give the Lord lip service. You know, you got to put in the work, man, to show where your faith lies. Mm -hmm. And also, in order to strengthen your faith, you have to be tested. Mm -hmm. Because anything that's not tested has no validity, man. Mm -hmm. You know, as gold is tried in the fire, that's you know, uh, diamonds have to be cut. And, and made precious, mm -hmm. you know, so we have to go through these straits in order to boost our faith, because if we just sit here in, in, in the walk and not go through anything and just coast through this thing. Hey, we don't know what you know. We don't know that our, our power is true, man, mm -hmm. you know, without being tested and going through certain things and coming out of it on top. You know, just when you thought that you have have, have met your demise, you know, the Lord may pull you out of certain situations. And you like call on your high by outside, man. That boosts your faith, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that you was this close to being put to death, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that these protests that we're seeing, man, are, are taking place. That boosts your faith because mm -hmm. we've been speaking to these things on the highways and byways, and people think we're crazy when they walk by and see America shall be destroyed by thermonuclear uh, thermonuclear fire. 
you know, and so on and so forth. Okay, so when we start seeing uh, events, you know, in the Book of Second Edris take place, sedition amongst men, you know, the cities being cut off, hey, that that boosts our faith, That's right. you know, and it and it uh, validates the point that you know we have the truth here, at Great Millstone, man, mm -hmm. which is ultimately a faith booster, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. Um, and if, I, if I may, I have um, and really, you know, what you're going into is it's essentially uh, what the word testimony is. Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, this is um the definition of testimony in regards to what you speak, what you're speaking of. It says a public profession of religious ex uh, experience and open acknowledgement. All right, and then, it, then it goes into first, firsthand authentication of a fact, evidence, you know? So your, your testimony essentially is a, a, a key factor in your faith, like you said, brother. Yep, and you said that word evidence, what we just read in Hebrews 11 and 1, that faith yep. is the substance of things hoped for, uh, the evidence of things and not seen, roughly paraphrasing, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's spot on. I... Uh, quick one, real fast. Come on, go ahead, bro. Second, there's 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Going into that testimony, you know what I'm saying, of what your brothers are just speaking on. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You know, and everything that we're saying is coming to pass, you know, to the point to where those covers and they say as gay says are, are starting to see that what we're saying is 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 the truth. And like you said, they're gonna see that great millstone had the truth all along. And we've been telling that look, the, the the chip is the mark of the beast, that these race wars are gonna come, that Yahweh Shah is about to visit the world which he made, man. All right, we've been saying all these things all the while, you know, they are written in paper that are faithful and true. You know, they starting to come to pass. All right, we uh they're gonna know that a prophet was amongst them, all right, like the scriptures say. All right. Yep. That's pretty that much it. Yeah. One of y'all birds got pre -sell? Well, I mean, I keep going. I keep going. Come, 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 it says come. verse three, second verse 15 and three. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Exactly. With these people's unbelief. The fact they don't want to take heed. It says verse four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You see, so because we strive and our best to be faithful, the Lord is a man. He's going to Lord willingly deliver us. The scriptures say that the most high, your how about shall shot is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor and love with your shoe towards his name. You know what I'm saying? So if we endure to the end, we're going to obtain salvation. That's what we labor for. But everyone who don't believe, they don't stand a chance. It said again, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So you see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, for lack of better terms, how serious this is, man. You know what I'm saying? In regards of us maintaining our faith until the end, okay? Mm -hmm. Maintaining our integrity until the end. It says, verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord Jehovah, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You know, and everything that we that I just named, do we see coming, you know, and intensifying, all right? Um, it says, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, and we got faith. Man, we have faith before we start seeing these things come to pass, the COVID-19, you know, these protests, these uproars, shit like that. We have faith, you know what I'm saying, before that, man, all right, that these things are going to come because the Lord woke us up and, and he, uh, uh, like, for lack of a better term, the scripture go, uh, uh, he's given us that eye side that we can see during these dark times, man. All right, we, we've been peeped out, you know what I'm saying, from way back then, man, you know, but... Hey, now we're starting to be more evident, and it's showing you that we're in the bitter end of the last days, man. All right, these prophecies that speaking loud and clear now. That's right. You got it, bro. Come, come, come. Uh, continuing that uh, Hebrews, uh, Yaqua, Bible Kusha. Oh, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 2. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the world's were framed by the word of God, so mm. that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Yeah, because the things that are seen are carnal, okay? The power that we serve is, is through the spirit, you know? Like I was uh, hinting on earlier, it's not a tangible thing in which uh, uh, the power in which we serve is mm. not tangible, right. you know? Because our, our people, they uh, don't believe it's true if they can't see it, you know. That's why this it's a saying you got to uh, show a motherfucker better than you can tell them mm -hmm. because yeah. 
people don't have a certain level of spirituality where they can't uh, see uh, those things in which they can't touch. You mm -hmm. know, we don't have uh, uh, art of the covenant right now. You know, we don't have um, Noah's Ark to go back and look at those you relics. Know? Yeah, mm -hmm. those relics. Mm -hmm. We don't have the so-called uh, 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 the slave ships that our people were brought here on. Mm -hmm. So people don't believe that we are those people. Mm -hmm. But we know according to uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, because we fit the curse into a T. That's right. And through faith that we are those people, man. That's right. And our spirit bear witness with those things, man, that are written, you know? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, my got precept, my mom. You say you got precept up? Yeah, I got a quick, quick precept. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, First Corinthians chapter 2, um, verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. So like you said, there's going to be people who, you know, don't believe who will believe in, but we've been Given his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. That's what people don't understand. These ordinary, you know, men that's given this truth, they have the uh, spiritual understanding to know what's going on. And that continues to build your faith as you see more people uh, not being acceptable of the truth or and, and, and these prophecies. That, that's, a, that's a faith boost as well. You know, so this goes, you know, we, we have these things that uh, a mere ordinary man just doesn't have the understanding, and that's all, that's what we rejoice in. You know, these prophecies come in the past, and mm -hmm. our hope and our faith that we'll be saved. Exactly, that's right. Exactly, that's right. Come, that's right. Go ahead. Uh, just real fast in the book of uh, Second Ezra, select your select your state. Second Ezra one and thirty seven. It says, "I take to witness the grace." of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit, they believe the thing that I say. And that's pretty much the embodiment of faith in and of itself. The fact that we don't have to see, like you mentioned, we don't need tangible evidence, concrete evidence. All right. Yet, you know what I'm saying? We believe though we have not seen with bodily eyes, man. Because like the brother made mention, that's a good statement too. Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter, we fit those curses to a T. All right, and they only us, man. All right, Deuteronomy twenty eight, you know, uh, uh, sixty eight, you know, being carried over here via cargo slave ships, so on and so forth, man. That's only happened to you know what I'm saying a uh, select few people on this planet Earth, man. All right, that as well as the other you know curses and the prophecies of what will happen to our people that show who we are. All right, so we yeah, man, we don't actually need. Tangible, concrete evidence. You know, history speaks, man. It speaks for itself. You know, all the all the all the uh, wicked atrocities that were done to our people, man. That's that right. I'm alluding to, through like slavery and whatnot, man. That's Jim right. Crow and whatnot. That's right. Con, you got something you die? I got a question. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, this is uh, Deut Deuteronomy four and twenty. But the Lord Yahweh Bashem and Shai have taken you and brought you. Forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are this day. And see, like Buzz is making the points about, you know, um, you know, particular de uh, deliverances or or just particular instances in which uh, Yahweh Bashmiyah Shah dealt with us as a people. And because there isn't so-called tangible evidence, in which you know there is a level of tangible evidence, but the way it is, it's just it's it's just enough. To uh, 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 in essence, validate our faith. You know what I'm saying to the point that it's uh, it, it you know there there is tangible evidence that does uh, uh, give more credit to what we're saying, but it, it don't even matter, man. It, don't, mm -hmm. it, it our faith don't it doesn't it doesn't boil down to the tangible evidence because even if you show the two thirds tangible evidence, they still not gonna believe because mm -hmm. it boils, it boils down to them having the hatred mm -hmm. for uh for, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, his law statutes his law statutes and commandments and Yahweh Shah. And for those people, they see they're not they're gonna be partakers in the kingdom of heaven, but they're not gonna be on the same level of uh uh to inherit the kingdom of heaven and be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah like uh certain other men uh will be. But through all this it's just it's just the way um for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to continue to show us that he is 
uh, working for our best interest, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, there are times where, where things get tight, things get tough, that's where, like we're speaking about, that's where your faith should really be activated and your faith should be on high alert. But I'm just going to reread this and then close it and uh, I'll pass it back. It's Deuteronomy 4 and 20. But the Lord, Yahweh, Bashan, and Shai have taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace. And what's going to be the iron furnace? The iron furnace is going to be America, man. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be the, the true iron furnace in which this place has been uh, 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 cut off and, and quarantined, so to speak, to have a judgment of uh, thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is the new Egypt. And it says, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are this day. Meaning what? That we know, we know and understand the concept of reincarnation in which we hope and believe to be those spirits who are seeking uh, to uh, uh, please your Bashim Shine in the past uh, lifetimes. And we know and understand that there's a, a, a wicked two-thirds of our people who really just wanted to be niggas this whole time they've been on earth, man. And, and they aren't the people of an inheritance. And because they aren't the people to have that first uh, uh, portion of inheritance uh, and, and have that, that heightened level of uh, uh, rulership and dominion, so to speak, they weren't given the uh, the gift of faith on this side. Come, 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 come. That's all I had. Come. Hey, continuing that Hebrews, uh, Yaakov, we're going to hold that. I got okay. a precept, okay. a real quick precept to back the brother up. Go ahead, bro. Okay, um, this is, uh, you know, in regards of, uh, you know, essentially the people who don't have faith now, they were the same individuals who were faithless in the wilderness mm -hmm. and continue to murmur against Moses. And really, they weren't murmuring against Moses. They were murmuring against your house, you know. But um, this is the book of Luke, the 16th chapter <clears throat> in the 30th verse. It says, and he said, nay, Father Abraham. But if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. You know, so essentially, is you know, faith is the gift, as the scripture says. It has nothing to do with our, you know, us personally believing, so so-called believing. It's it's just a program that the Lord has in, has installed to a select few of His servants that we consider today as the elect, the hopeful elect. You know, hope, hopeful elect. It all, it, it all, you know, it, it runs the circle, man. It's all dealing with faith, man. That's right. That's right. Con. Hey, hey, that's beautiful, bro. Because even when we, you know, do these lessons and you know. Uh, go out and teach. We say hopeful elect, man. That's a that's a that's a faith based statement. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you know, because we don't know if we are those men. We don't know if we have a seat on the chariot. That's, right. that's why we continue to do the works in hopes that these works uh, add up to us. You know, having enough amount of of, of faith and works in order mm -hmm. to be saved, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Continuing that Hebrews up. God. Um, it, it reads, this is Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verse 3. It says, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Verse 4, by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, mm -hmm. by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaker. Time. Verse, verse 5. By faith Enoch was translated mm -hmm. that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. Hey, and what the scripture? Hey, Salaki, bro. Um, and you can continue. Hey, because what the scripture tell you? Hey, that the things are written aforetime were written for our learning. Mm -hmm. So you know the things that was written about Abel and the things that were written about Enoch. You know, we go back and read those accounts, and those are faith boosting accounts, man. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, w without hey, take on um, Daniel being thrown in the lion's den for an example. Take Take um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego for an example. You know, yeah. 
they they were they were told not to uh praise our lord and savior but they through faith continued to do so and through faith was saved from a hey, the fiery furnace and the lion's den man you know through faith Job kept pushing and he was uh and he was elevated man despite all the things that came against him you know his 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 rib telling him to curse the lord and die you know he kept his integrity you know which ultimately if you keep integrity to something that means you believe in it that means you have faith in something in order to keep integrity you know if you're not believing in someone you don't have faith in anything hey you're not gonna you're not gonna hold fast to it man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. keep going up and if i may i don't mean to you know but that term patience coincides directly with faith exactly that's why the scripture says, in thy patience possession your souls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't have one without the other. Exactly. Because you'll get impatient over something you don't believe in. Mm -hmm. If right. you believe something's going to happen, hey, you'll sit your ass still, man, and wait till it manifests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Keep, spirit. keep going up. Verse 6. This is the heavy hitter. It says, yep. but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. It says it is impossible. So there's no way around it, man. You got to have faith, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it ain't say maybe if you do it this way, or maybe if you do it that way, you know, you can please the Lord. It says it's impossible without faith to please them, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Really, y'all feeling coming, boy? Oh, uh, you can grab something off the coming, boy. Come, come on, uh, real fast. This is a rock. What the brother put up? Uh, GMS ironclad truth. Yeah. Or so like a uh, GMS child of light. Uh, he put up okay. the rock. Please ask because yep, yeah, one in uh, fourteen. Uh, it says, uh, "To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom." And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Mm -hmm. So that's the beginning of the fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. All right. And like I said, it was created with the faithful in the womb. All right. Whom we, Lord, willingly hope to be. All right. The uh, elect. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to uh, grab the other one that was up there as well. That's Sirach 2 and 10. Yeah, the brother, uh, GMS uh, Ironclad uh, Truth. It says, uh, Shalom. Uh, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom. It says, Shalom. look at the. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Right. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Right. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And that's a question. Nobody. As you mm -hmm. read numerous accounts throughout the scriptures, no one was confounded or forsaken that kept faith and trusted in Yahweh by seeing outside. And then at the latter end, they were always brought through the trials and tribulations, man. Mm -hmm. You know which we know are necessary you know in this walk but it all depends on how you deal with it if you're gonna keep the faith or you're gonna jump ship you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. if i may this is a quick uh uh quick one land back off what you just brought out you mentioned job not long ago mm -hmm. this job 42 and 10 it says um and the lord yahweh shall turn the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends also the lord yahweh but Shemiel Shah gave Job twice as much as he had before. Mm -hmm. You see? So, hey, man, everything that he lost was all just of a trying of his faith, man. Of his faith, man. All right? And when he uh, 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 overcame that, man, all right, the Lord, like I said, he, he, you know what I'm saying, gave him back everything that he lost in this son, man. You see? And that's what it is, man. The Lord is just trying our faith right now. And the ultimate test of a trial of our faith is going to be uh, Revelation 3 and 10. You know, that uh, uh, the chip. You know, being made manifest and, and being presented, being made mandatory. That's the word. Being made mandatory, man. All right. Um, your brothers got it though. That's right. Yeah, your brothers got it. Uh, see. either one of y'all brothers got precept. But that giant is still too. I got a precept if nobody else. Right. Right. Go ahead. Uh, no. All right, come. This is um the book of Sirach, otherwise known as Ecclesiasticus, mm -hmm. chapter two. Verse 13, and you brothers can touch up on it, um, 13 and 14. It says, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for mm -hmm. he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Verse, four, verse 14, 
in the reads it says, Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And so going back to, you know, um, faith and patience being directly, directly coincided. All right. Like mm -hmm. Brother Rock said, you cannot have one without the other. That's why the scripture says, woe, meaning destruction and faint hearted. You know, I'm sorry, but faint hearted goes into being um, lacking, lacking fidelity, lacking faith. Yeah. All right. Faint, faint meaning to cease or to be a, of a low degree. Your heart is your mind. You know, essentially is you know what you believe in. You know, so when you lack faith, what? That's that's because you or when you lose patience, that's that's showing that you lack faith. And like the scripture says, it says, "Woe to you, man! All right, you're not going to be defended by the Lord." That's right. Hey, if I may land back off you, you know, uh, the scriptures say I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, paraphrasing because I got a precept, um, Second Ezra sixteen and uh, uh, seventy four. You know, it talks about the, the days of trouble at hand, but the Lord will deliver us from the same. He said, be not afraid, neither doubt, but the most high is your God, man. All right. And um, going back to what you were saying, we can't doubt. You know, you be doubtful, you be faint. You know, like you say, the Lord is not going to defend you. And that made me think of this precept, Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. You know, and ultimately we that's why the Lord is putting us through these different trials and tribulations is ultimately for the building of our faith, man. You know, you being brought through these different tests and trials and whatnot, showing you that the Lord is with us, man. And that as things continue to get worse, we gotta have that drill in my mind that look, your how about is with us, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, he's been with me, you know what I'm saying? All this while up to now, he ain't gonna forsake us if we continue to do which he uh you know demands and acts of us, man. That's right. You know, I quoted it earlier. I might have to get it, you know, but he, he did say the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, mm -hmm. which you have shown towards his name, man. It's a lock, yeah. Come. Come. a hard time. Like, grab it. Uh, uh, Lord, will not grab it. Uh -huh. uh, in the meanwhile, uh, I know you had a precept. Yeah, I got, a, I got like a quick account right quick. Uh, you know, Acts chapter 12, the story of uh, basically deliverance, you know, through faith, you know. Come. Um, you know, for the sake of time, you know, when you read uh, Acts 12 chapter, you know, Herod was persecuting the Israelites, and I believe at this time they had killed James, and uh, they were seeking after Peter. So I'm going to skip down to uh, verse 5. It says, uh, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto the Most High for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with chains, and the keepers before the door kept in prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chain fell off from his hand. So basically, you know, and through the faith, we believe that, you know, now Peter was delivered. You know, Paul also talked about the different persecutions that he went at Antioch, you know, different uh, places where he preached the word, but out of all the persecutions, the Lord delivered him. You know, like I said, for the sake of time, you know, for the audience, you know, they can read, you know, Acts chapter 12, because that's a real safe uh, boosting chapter where Peter was in jail and he got boosted out to allow him to go back and do the work. So we we're, we come into these situations where we might be in a concentration camp. We might be in some confinement area. We might be in some type of trouble. But the Lord, when we believe and we keep that faith and we keep that uh ground rooted faith like it mentions in Colossians the second chapter, we'll be able to uh have these things uh, perform for us, man. It's just as simple as uh believing. Like the scripture that we mentioned, uh Romans fifteen and four, things are written in four times for our learning. So we have uh our forefathers as an example of uh de deliverance through them just simply believing and having faith. Come, come, come. Oh, you got some or you die? Yeah, I got some. Go ahead. This is um you got from it, the book of Philippians, the third chapter, starting in verse seven. <laughs> but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. Yeah, doubtless. And they go into faith as well. A big portion of faith is really attacking that spirit of doubt, man. You know what I'm saying? We have, we have a gift in the measure of faith. 
But that's why Yahweh Shah spoke is that faith is uh, small as a mustard seed, meaning that pure mm -hmm. faith, man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Pastor Paul is here, here speaking about being doubtless. Okay, he says uh, Philippians 3 and 8. Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, my Lord. Everything, he counted everything that he, uh, that, um, that he lost uh, counted just as a charge to, 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 to delve into wisdom of the of the Lord and of the Savior, man. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dumb that I may win Hamashiach. And uh, just like the officer Rock was speaking about earlier, speaking about um, your integrity. And if you really believe in something, then you won't then you won't uh, 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 turn your back or you won't backslide, man. You're gonna you're gonna stay true to what you believe because you but you have belief and you have faith in the power that's greater than yourself in which we believe in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai and the testimony that we have through the scriptures. Um but just finishing off this is a Philippians three and nine and be found in him not having my own righteousness which is of the law but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach the righteousness which is of the most high by faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made uh, conformable unto his death if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead and all these things all these um these actions all these uh uh, uh things occurrences began first began first with faith okay because you know really this whole storyline, this whole testimony, everything that's going on, it was it was already within, it was contained within the spirit of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai before even the creation. That's why uh, uh, a scripture speak about in the beginning was the word and the word was with the Most High because the testimony of Yahweh Shai has always been with the Heavenly Father. You know, the, the spirit of prophecy, everything that we're doing is already, is, has, was already possessed by the Heavenly Father. And through faith, through that substance, we're actually able to uh, uh, partake in this uh, this beautiful story, man. In which, you know, yeah, yeah we speak we speak about all time, man. You know, the sufferings and even the Apostle Paul here is speaking about loss. Everything that he lost is 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 nothing that can be to be compared with wisdom and truth, proper knowledge, understanding mm. of the, uh, today. But it's also mm. going to be nothing compared to what we're going to actually be able to partake in in the kingdom, man. Right. Uh, I, I have a precept for the brother Yada. Go ahead, bro. If I may. All right, Khan, the water. This is um it's the book of Revelations. This is an old faithful for us. This is Revelation chapter three, verse ten. Yeah. It says, Because thou hast kept the word, as the brother just said in, in the book of John, in the beginning was the word. It says, mm -hmm. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, we going back to patience. You can't have one without the other. It says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And, of, you know, just to touch up for, for brothers who, you know, might not be familiar with the scripture, the hour of temptation is talking about the RFID microchip. All right. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now, mm -hmm. verse 11 is also backing up the brother's point with saying that, you know, the reward that we should receive is going to be far greater than any tribulation that we're going to have to undergo on this side. Verse 11, it says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Verse, excuse me, verse 12, it says, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. All right? And that's the, a reward of that magnitude far, far succeeds any torment that we can receive duly because we are sinners at that. This is our reasonable service, you know? So this is, this is greater than anything that we're going to ever undergo on this side. The Lord is going to take care of us, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Come, come. You, you got. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. I actually yeah. wanted to briefly uh, go into that word "new." Is in the Greek. It's uh, G twenty five thirty seven. That's kainos, 
It says new as respects form recently made fresh, recent, unused, unworn. All right. And that's uh I just wanted to throw that out there because a lot of times, you know, like IUIC like to, you know, use that saying how to have how the hell father have a new name that don't nobody know. But now that's uh uh the name is Yahweh by Shin Yao Sha. All right. And um um like I said, that's what it goes into, like recently made fresh and uh uh unused, unworn. Okay, but I do got a quick precept land backing off you guys. It was one that I kept quoting in uh, Hebrews chapter six and ten, and it reads, "For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed towards His name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister." All right, and we desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end which I went into this uh, full assurance, that's G4136, that's pleuroforia. All right, it says full assurance, most certain confidence. And what gives us this confidence is the faith, all right, that we have in Yahweh Hashim Yahshua. Again, overcoming these certain trials and tribulations that the Lord has allowed us to, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 overcome, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that solidifies our faith, okay? To where we, like the scriptures say, Lord, we're gonna be steadfast and unmovable, man, you know, and, and no matter what, you know, like scripture say, what shall separate us from the love of your how by she may shot? Not even sickness, not death, nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get those, you know what I'm saying, two precepts. Yeah, kind of, kind of. You probably um, got it. And I'm gonna get a quick precept off the comment board uh from the brother um GMS Child of Light, the brother mm -hmm. Power Thumb. Shalom, bro. Shalom, brother. Uh, uh this is uh Sirach two and four. It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient. When thou art changed to a lower state. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a lower state, you know, it takes faith in order to stay patient, man. You know, while, while you're going through, you know, certain trials and tribulations, uh, mm -hmm. like the brother uh, mentioned, you know, what shall separate us from uh, Yahweh Shimei al -Shai? Okay, nothing. Mm -hmm. Because we know, you know, what we signed up for. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is not going to be uh all our honey you know we got to deal with the bitterness of the scriptures as well too mm -hmm. and the bitter tells us that we're going to go through these certain things and if i just briefly may say job said it uh, uh shall we receive you know uh, uh good of the most high not evil mm -hmm. also you know just laying back and up it's a balance uh salakia yeah, there was a little bit more if you don't mind go ahead i'm gonna bring it back uh -huh. uh, Hebrews 6 and 10, there was a little bit more, I'm going to bring it back though. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So, Lord willingly, you know what I'm saying, as things continue to get, you know what I'm saying, more hectic and intensified, we're going to be covered. All right, that Isaiah 65 and 13 is going to come into fruition, whereas, like the scriptures say, the, uh, his service is going to be pretty much taken care of, you know. Mm -hmm. um, this goes on to say, however, verse 11, and we desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, that ye be not slothful, all right, not sluggard or like, you know, like uh, 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 slacking, if you will. It says, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want, man. All right, through 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 faith, through suffering. All right, like the scriptures say, Hebrew, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Acts 14, 22, through much tribulation shall we inherit the kingdom of the most high. Hey, man, that's what we're going through all this for. Like you say, uh, uh, you quoted that, uh, Romans 8, you know, and 16 about being joint heirs. That's what we're going through the suffering for, so we could be joint heirs with the Howard Shine, the king of the car. That's right. You mind if I grab it? Go ahead. Romans yeah, 8 and uh, uh, 17. And if children, then heirs, mm -hmm. heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. You know I mean? right. So yeah, man. Again, if we Lord willing endure these 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 things, man, we're gonna be joint heirs with the house shine, the king and the come. We're gonna mm -hmm. inherit those promises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any one of y'all brothers got precepts? And we got faith, man. We got faith that we're gonna get these things if we do what the most have, you know demands and commands of us. Exactly. Any of y'all brothers got um we're gonna get a few more precepts, then we're gonna close out, Aki. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a I got a quick one if if no brother got one. As of now, I got a quick one. Go ahead. Al. All right. This is um, it's the book of Ephesians. I'm not sure if my brother got this earlier, but um, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8. It says, 
For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. You know, so this thing of ours, that's why it's you know, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, because the Lord has called us as brothers, man. He he called us together in one body, in one spirit, man. All right, mm -hmm. through faith. All right. And uh, hopefully right. so we can receive a kingdom together, man. All mm -hmm. right. And it's a, like like the scripture said, it's a gift, man. So it's it's all credit is, is due to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. It's not because we believed on him, it's because we were granted that gift, man. So all praises. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, Anai, you got some? Yeah, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 1, verse 7. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of suffering, so shall you be, so shall you be also of the consolation. So, hey, we got we to gotta suffer a little bit for a little point in time, man. But in the end, it, it's going to be worth it, man. You know? That's right. That's right. You die. I got something, uh, yeah, real quick. Uh, this is Luke 18. I started verse uh, 6. Luke 18 and 6. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So, right. you know, in this thing of ours, like brother speaking about, there's a lot of naysayers, man. Okay, most of the people, most of the spirits who we're going to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis or just in general will not be uh, in the same spirit that we're going to be walking in, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why this is so precious and it's so valuable mm -hmm. because uh, uh, we're we're like a, a real minority out here, man. Okay, but what you have shy and the, the prophecies tell us is that we're going to be out of here faster than we think we are, man. Meaning, the Most High has equipped has equipped His elect, and Lord, one we are of their number has has thoroughly mm -hmm. equipped His elect by their faith to overcome any obstacle that's placed in in their path and in their journey to obtain salvation okay and um along along with that of that faith like brothers have been speaking about throughout the night it goes definitely into the works man you, you, you need you need them works okay to actually uh um prove your faith that's right okay mm -hmm. and we got um uh, i got it for you kind of you got it james yeah we're gonna um Ended on this precept if brothers ain't got any closing precepts um, or closing words. And a a uh, the water to you brothers on the comment board too, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for adding to the lesson, man. Uh, uh, spirit. Kind of kind. The water I, shalom to you brothers. Shalom. Man. I got a quick picture. This is uh, real fast. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, man. And that's what's going to keep us stable, us knowing that we, to the best of our ability, since we've been, you know, woken to this truth, been, you know, uh, keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability and, and seeking and serving the Most High and feeding his sheep, man. All right. And like I said, knowing what's to come, we knowing the power that's doing these things. Hey, man, uh, uh, overcoming these trials and tribulations through your how about you now, Sha? And that's what's going to keep us stable during these hardships, during these times, man, that's about to come upon this place. As a matter of fact, that's perfect because it goes into this. James 1 and 1. I'm going to take it from the top. Yeah. James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Hey, and what we just uh, read that the brother dropped on the comment board, uh, Sirach uh, 2, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, be patient when thou change to a lower state, mm -hmm. you know, um, and whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking the verse one, you know, uh, uh, my son, if I come to serve the Lord, prepare thy yeah. soul for temptation. temptation. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. It said verse three, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Hey, the trying of your faith worketh patience. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> 
we've been saying it, man, throughout this lesson. Hey, they go hand in hand, man. You can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. You know, now the trying of your faith, you know, the more you try and the more you hold steadfast, boosts your faith. Man. That's right. You know, That's right. keep going. But let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep going. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh Shin Shai that give it to all men liberally. And upbraid if not, and it shall be given him. Yeah, amen. And ultimately, you know, faith, wisdom, all of those uh, fruits of the spirit, if you're lacking in certain areas, man, a acts of your Shimi Shai, and he will give thee, man. You know, he'll strengthen your faith. You know, he'll put you on the level and add wisdom unto you. You know, so on mm -hmm. and so forth, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, you, you can't be afraid to go to your power, man, and ask for it. Uh, certain shortcomings, mm -hmm. you know, because the times that we're living in and the times that we're going into, you know, which is Jacob's trouble, you know, these things that we're seeing are just the beginning of the, uh, of the sorrows, you know, we're going to need an extra boot of faith, man. That's right. You know, because it's impossible to go into it, you know, uh, for from a carnal sense, you know, in these fleshly uh, bodies, man, mm -hmm. we're going to have to be uh, uh, uh we're gonna have to be um translated, man. Okay. You know, physically and 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 spiritually, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. a little bit more on that, James uh, one and six. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, mm. for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Yeah, that's like uh, double minded, man. Yep. That's like being lukewarm. Yep. You know, you gotta be a uh, 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 steadfast, and you gotta, you know. Be fully persuaded in your own mind, you know, uh, ultimately, man. That's right. As, as a matter of fact, I went into the word faith in, in this same verse. G4102 is pistis. It says in the Greek, it says conviction of the truth mm. of anything. All right. But we know we convicted that this is the truth. All right. That the uh, doctrine that is being taught by the apostles and elders of great millstone on down, man. All right. Is the 100% truth. All right. From your how about Shemel As a matter of fact, it tells you that that uh, uh, this didn't come in. In 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 the old time by the will of man, but by you know holy men whom the heavenly father pretty much put his words in. Speak, man. I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing a uh, second Peter like one and twenty, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, we we fully persuaded, all right, that this is the truth, and it's all by faith. Again, a gift of the how about Shai. Yeah, right. Um, it's, you got some more. Yeah, just, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Salakia, uh, James one and seven. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. And like you said, a double-minded man is staying in those ways. That's it. You got it, brother. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I, want, I, want, I want to make this precept with, um, with what you just brought out, brother. This is uh, a right. second, second Corinthians chapter 13, verse five. Examine yourselves whether huh. ye mm -hmm. be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Right. Know ye not your own selves how that Yahweh Shemashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, we gotta look, we gotta start first with our own self. Look ourselves in the mirror, as the old saying go. You know what I'm saying? Are we meeting the court? Are we doing what the heavenly father requires of us? You know, are we being charitable? Are we uh, putting our videos up? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Uh, right. Hey, uh, if you're slacking in anything too, like you said, hey man, ask the most high. You know, you gotta examine ourselves. We start first with looking at ourselves first before. You know what I'm saying? Trying to correct the next man. You got to get the meat, the beam, and the moat at your yeah. own. You know yeah. what you should say. Mm -hmm. You got it, brother. Yeah. That, that, um, that's it. Yeah. Um, okay. Any closing precepts from uh, one of you brothers? I got one. Lot. I got one if you don't mind. Uh, come, we got one and we're going to close out on. What'd you say? Uh, no, I Con, con. We got, uh, we got one and we're going to close out on this, brothers. Con, con. This is uh second Ezra 2 and 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. All right. So yeah, man, the kingdom is already prepared. We hey, we already overcome. You know what I'm saying? We already received a victory through your house shot. You know what I'm saying? You already overcome death. Are you already overcome? You know what I'm saying? Uh uh Esau and you know, which is the physical kind of part of spiritual demon saying we already won, man, pretty much. We just gotta, you know, play it out and Lord willing, we endure to the end. Hopefully we be those men, all right, to fit that uh uh, you know, that 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 lot of being the elect, man. 
All right. But yeah, the kingdom is already prepared, man. So we got to pray for fewer days, man. Hey, man, we see it too, especially with these signs going on. We were yeah, watching, yeah. you know, the, the CNN with the curfew and everything. It's it's only going to keep getting worse, man. It's only going to keep getting worse. We got to pay this shit about to go down, man. So hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yep. Could be this uh, year. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. So, hey, uh, you had, you, you should say something you done. Oh, no, lie. No, I was, just, I was just agreeing with the brother, man. <laughs> come, come, come. All right, man. Hey, we're going to close it out on that note, man. Hey, beautiful. You know, Lord willing, this was edifying to an elect member, too. We want to close it out by giving all praise, Lord, and honor to Yahweh. 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 Shalom. Hey, double honest to our elders and the apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom. Yahweh. Shalom. 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 Shalom.